What is going on, my future meta millionaires? It is your boy, Terry Stonkers, and welcome to my channel, baby, by the dip. All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to cover the tweet that George has out. Now, this is all speculation, huge rumors, huge speculation. So if you hate speculations, you may want to skip the first part of this video. Uh, and after we get through the speculation, uh, we're going to cover meta material stock, the uh, volume and the price action along with MMTLP. We're going to cover oil prices and the Fintel information. And we got exciting Fintel information on the uh, short bar fee. First time we hit double digits in a long time. So we're going to cover all that information. And all I ask in return is for you to smash the thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. It helps out that algorithm. And first thing is first, I got to say thank you to everyone that joined the live stream last night. We approached over 2,200 followers on Twitter. So thank you all very much for that, man. It is awesome. We're 2,206 followers. So if you're not following me, go follow me on Twitter at TerryZ247. All right, so here's the post that we're going to talk about speculation. George did this tweet today about the plasma fusion on these golf balls here, and he says times 10. So let's get in here and let's zoom in on this picture that George has out and see what we can come up with. And we're going to go over the speculation that people's posting about. Uh, of course, I would love for this speculation to be true, but... It is kind of in the price range of the dividend calculation of the speculation. So we'll, we'll give it a look and you can leave your opinions down below. All right, so here we go on George's picture and I got a touchscreen uh, laptop so I can click this and zoom in. Here's George's hand holding two golf balls and you may be like, okay, nothing really to look at here. But you can see the one ball has a four on it and the other ball has a one. But the ball that has the four on it has, if you zoom in here really close, you can see it really good. It has a times 10. And there's two little uh, black dots here on the, you can see the X right here where my mouse is at, or the cursor is going, the X. And then you got the 10, and they have a black dot, little Sharpie mark on each of those, the one and the zero. Uh, so people is out here speculating that the, that's going to be the dividend right there. Four times 10. That's our dividend, 40 bucks. As we know from Roller Pigeon's calculations, anywhere from 29 to 46, $40 is right in the ballpark of her prediction. Uh, so very interesting stuff. There is a lot more speculation out there. Uh, really getting into the uh, depth of everything here uh, with certain dates this could be out on may the first uh there's a lot of uh numbers floating around i just wanted to point out the main one i see people posting four times 10 is 40 bucks for the divvy and i don't know we'll have to see so uh comment down below what is your speculation on these pictures i mean you can see it very clearly there four times 10 and now he did say the times 10 we know george does his cryptic tweets and we know sometimes us retail and it, i'm included in that as well we like to get a little heavy on the speculation so I'm just kind of pointing out what speculation is floating around. So now let's go take a look at the premium Fintel. So here we are on the premium Fintel. Look at what the short interest ratio is. 10.15 days to cover. What that means is if all the shorts go to cover their short position, it's going to take them over 10 trading days, which is two weeks to cover. That means that stock can run for 10 days straight because the shorts are having to buy stock to cover what they hold short positions in. Now, as we get down here and look at these information numbers, man, it's, it's phenomenal. Short squeeze score is at 89.76, ranked 116 out of 5,500 stocks. Short shares that are available. They only have 35,000 shares that is available left to short. That was updated 19 minutes ago. And down here is the most exciting part of the Fintel information I'm happy to bring to you. As I said in the beginning of this, this is the first time that I've seen MMAT Metamaterials have a double digit short bar fee according to the Fintel. So right now, this is exactly what we want to see, guys. We was hanging in the sixes. We was hanging in the sevens, the eights, the nines. But today... We finally broke that double digit short bar fee, which means anyone taking out a short position is going to be paying up to 10.23% to borrow or short metamaterial stock. The higher that is, 
the more they pay. So that's what we want. If they're going to short or borrow against us, we want them to freaking pay. So that there is phenomenal. Wow, look at the short volume ratio today. Woo wee. Whoa, 61.26. Guys, just two days ago, we had an 80.19. They are just literally shorting the heck out of any volume that comes in here. Now, you can see the vendor, FINRA had 1.8 million in volume and they shorted 1.1 million. Uh, we don't have the aggregate yet, but if we go off of the day, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, probably around a 67, maybe somewhere in there. So, yeah. Double digit guys on the short interest. Now, you saw there they shorted over 60%. And I'm gonna show you down here. Look what the stock did today. Look what the stock did today. There's a lot of red in the market. Now, we were red today, but keep in mind, we were up like 8% yesterday. And in the after hours, we were up another 2.4%. So you can see we're up about 10% minus out this 7.5%. So we're still up roughly about 2.5% in a bloodbath of a market, to say the least. Uh, we're still up since the Berta conversation on the Twitter space from Sunday. Uh, I do have timestamps uh, from that I did from the live stream. I'm going to make clips up, and I'm going to start posting those out during the day here in the next few days. Uh, so you guys can be up to date uh, with shorter clips. We have a lot of new investors. A lot of new investors coming in. So the more we get this information out, uh, we're going to get the new investors up to date with what we all know because we've been covering here on the channel since June of 2021, almost one year anniversary covering, well, TRCH, Torchlight slash Metamaterials. All right, so let's now go take a look at our baby, MMTLP. Uh, this one here kind of blew me away with the volume traded today. We actually excelled and passed the average trading volume. Now that's kind of crazy. Average volume is 606,000 shares traded a day, and we traded over 689,000 shares. Hmm, interesting. Uh, now, trading at a buck 23 was up two and a half percent. I tried to call Fidelity. I didn't have time in the morning. I tried on my lunch break. Uh, they got me through. They got me to the wrong person, and I still was unable to get to a fixed income specialist from fidelity can someone like hook a brother up uh so i'm gonna have to try to call again tomorrow in the morning before i go to work and just see if they can get me because they, they the guy that i spoke with says they have to read me a script basically about fixed income bonds and securities so that was the reasoning of why you have to do that and then i'll confirm with them that after i do that and get that approved that i can buy and sell and trade mmtlp without having to call every single time because if I'm going to have to call every single time, uh, I may have to open up a separate brokerage just to freely buy MMTLP alone. Leave what I got in Fidelity. Uh, this is the only security I'm having trouble with because it's labeled as a bond or security. So that's the update from Fidelity. Another 25 minutes down the drain. I have about an hour now uh, down the drain of Fidelity and still can't buy MMTLP because of the hold times. Because uh, my 30-minute lunch break just goes too quick. But... On the other side of news, we got oil coming back up again, which is good but bad because when oil goes up, our gas prices go up. And gas prices in my area are up to like 19 cents in the last few days. Uh, Maryland did have a uh, tax freeze on gas, and that has lifted. And since then, the gas prices are rising. So trust me, leaving likes, leaving comments down below helps out that algorithm and gets some money for gas, man. It helps out. Uh, WTI crude is at $102.40 and Brent crude is at $105.09. So guys, I think that is all I got for you in today's video. That was pretty much it. Um, like I said, uh, quick programming note tomorrow, 8 PM supposed to be having that rescheduled live stream with Tony market moves. So, uh, he's hoping we can do it tomorrow, 8 PM Eastern. Uh, so make sure you have that bell notification on here on YouTube. Uh, click it. Make sure you have the bell on. Get that notification. Uh, make sure you're following me here on Twitter, at Terry's E247. I told him to message me if any changes happen. Uh, we're going to have a great live stream. We're going to hopefully be talking about the big, the big deal about proved oil production and how that's going to affect the dividend in a massive way, which I think that's what they're trying to do, is get proven oil production, which will make the dividend go 
to the moon. So hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I'll catch you on next video, guys. Peace. <laughs>